Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're talking about dungeons. And I have five, like, major problems with, with dungeons. Like, the dungeons just came back up, and I used to like doing them. They're fun. But then, just, uh, they just got bad real quick. And I just, they're just so, there's just, like, five points I listed. There's probably more. These are just five that I thought of really quickly that, like, need to be changed. So, problem number one, it's kind of minor. So, basically the way Dungeons works is, if you do Dungeon 7, which is like the final difficulty, you do 5 rooms, you get all the points you need for all the rewards, and that's all I do. That's all I do, because fuck going higher, I don't, I don't need to. But, one problem, it's not that big of a problem in like the earlier dungeon rooms, but sometimes it can be, it's like node inconsistency. Because like on the left side, you could have a node with like, dash vulnerability and like something else, like super easy, and the other side could just like, you could have like, rage mixed with like buff like just a whole bunch of like garbage nodes pretty much on like a bad character on top of it so like the node inconsistency they need to make it so like the difficulty could at least be like a less random like you or like at least more equal on each side because sometimes it's annoying that like your teammate gets like a super easy one and you get screwed by something like that like they should make it like more equal and just like make it so like the super hard node combinations happen in like the way later rooms because getting like rage and some other stupid node in like room like two is kind of annoying but it's not a problem for me but it's a problem for number two of my second point is i don't have a dungeon partner and i do the fine dungeon partner thing my teammates that i get I swear to God, are some of the most brain dead people I have ever seen. Kabam, please fix this. So like, when it puts you with someone, um, I don't know, just just like with the stats, like try to find like win rates, like what, what like their team rating is. But like, I would say like try to like get a stat where you could show people's t like win percentage, because I get people that just bring in the most garbage champions, like. And they just, like, they lose all three in, like, room one. And I'm like, why are you in Dungeon 7? You obviously can barely handle Act 3 content. It's annoying. Like, it's really annoying. They need to make it so it puts you someone to your skill level. Because I'm not trying to, like, um, like show off or, like, brag or anything. But I'm better than most fucking people. And it's annoying when I always have to carry whoever I get in a dungeon with. Because they just lose all three characters at once. And... That goes in, and it's, the main thing that makes it annoying is, like, uh, my third point is, like, the long-ass character cooldowns. See, it wouldn't be that bad if you just, like, lost and you have to restart your dungeon run to get, like, all of, like, the milestones. But the cooldowns are, like, three days or something for your character. So you use your good characters. You're, like, you bring in your Ghost, Wasp, Synergy, or your Captain America, as you can see on the screen. And then you queue some random dude, okay? And he loses all his characters instantly. And now you have to do another team with, like... Like, say I wasn't, like, I didn't have that much of a developed roster. Like, but a lot of these characters, like, aren't that good for dungeons. Like, well, I run Suicide, so for, like... I run, like... If I didn't run Suicide, the dungeons would be a lot, like, easier for that problem. But, like, a lot of characters are, like, not good for dungeons because of the Suicide Masteries. But, like... It's annoying. They need to change the cooldowns because... Make it, like, one day or something. Because if it's three days, like... And I die right here, say, with my team right now, these three guys right here. There's two days, th 23 hours left. The second these guys cool down, the next dungeon will start, so I'll miss out on all the points. And this might be more of a problem for, like, up-and-coming players who don't have that many good champs. Like, they get screwed over by, like, a bad teammate or something, and now they can't get all the points they needed. And then, on to the fourth point. The amount of points you gain are, like, trash. Like... Like, you do five rooms, I think, to get the max points, but, like, each room scales in points. So, I have this thing where, like, you, I think, wait, how many points do you need in total? You need, like, wait, let's go down. You get, you get all the milestones, you need, like, 11,000 points, okay? And I don't know why, but the points scale so terrible. Look, room one, it says 500. Wait, can I see how much it scales by? Okay, room awards. Okay, a two-time bonus is automatically required, um, like, given each time. So the first room, 5,000, then 1,000, then 2,000, and wait, I don't know if it works that way. All I know is the scaling is very high. So when you get, when you mix everything with just bad teammates, like, you could lose, like, they get, like, bought out in room three or room four. Okay, you're one room off, but you still only get, like, it's not like, if you're, like, if you're in room five, but you can't complete it, it's not like, oh, you're, like, 95% of the rewards you get. 
it's like you get like 50 percent halfway through eleven thousand. you'll get like only like five thousand points or something like you need to finish room five or then you're gonna start the whole thing over again it's so annoying the amount of points you gain the way it works and then that moves on to the fifth point the rewards oh my fucking god you get like what like two thousand three thousand of these like sh um dungeon crystal things and then you go to the store and it's like what to get like a five star feature you need twenty seven thousand and there's only like a few dungeons a month so after like two three months you finally get a five star and chances are gonna get like the superior iron man or it or something like it needs a change like twenty two thousand then it should be like seven thousand five hundred for like a five star at, at cavalier level and like twenty thousand for a six star like at my rank like Oh, like I shouldn't be having a farm in one month and I can only get a four star and like a little bit extra like that's no the points need a buff I mean the um not points the rewards need to be buff they are just so not rewarding for the effort involved so yeah like this the main problem with dungeons is just getting shitty teammates that fuck you over and the rewards are just not rewarding for what you have to put up with so yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about dungeons. Tell me if you like it or not. I just think the rewards like should be scaling from like, ca like, proven difficulty to like uncollected to like cavalier, whatever whatever order goes in. Like the rewards need to scale because twenty two thousand points takes like two three months of dungeons, of like struggling with no like just not intelligent teammates. Like two three months of struggling with retards to get one fucking five star crystal you probably get like a cyclops out of like it's just not no i get like a few five stars a month i don't want one every three four months that's like how often i get a six star crystal like at this point in the game a little bit more even i guess six star crystal is a little bit faster than that at this point so yeah tell me what you guys think about dungeons i don't like them um so yeah tell me what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed this video get a like on subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one peace